one of my favorite looks for fall has got to be the dark lip dark eye combo. It's bold, sultry, and completely vampy looking. And today I'm going to show you guys my go-to vampy look for fall. Starting by applying my Too Faced primer generously so our foundation has a nice base to stick to. And taking my Kat Von D concealer I'm applying to any blemishes or dark spots that need covering up. For foundation, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match onto the back of my hand and with my stippling brush gently picking up some product so I can begin stippling all over my face. Now all that's left to do is blend, blend, blend so we have a nice natural look that almost looks airbrushed. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and applying from lash line to brow bone so our eyeshadows appear true to color and last longer. Then I'm filling in my brows with a little bit of brown eyeshadow to even them out. This is Grain by MAC and I'm just going to apply this shadow all over my lid and a little into my crease. Now taking a warm brown color and a fluffy brush I'm going to blend into my crease and using circular motions make sure that there are no harsh lines left behind. Now with a taupey brown color, I'm going to apply this to the outer corner of both my upper and lower lash line just to even out the look. Now we want to make sure the color is even on both sides, so keep checking back and adjust any colors as needed. Now taking a deep burgundy color, I'm going to focus this on the outer V of the eye, but this time drag a little bit onto the lash line. So again, focus on the outer V of the eye and flick out a little bit onto the upper lash line. Now taking just a little bit of black shadow, we're going to line our upper lash line just to add to that smoky look. And with a bit of some orangey shadow, we're going to apply this above our crease just to blend everything together and really add some color to the eye. Lastly, we're going back into grain and applying this all over the brow bone for a nice highlight that pulls the look together. So this is what your blended eye look should look like. And now taking my L'Oreal True Match Powder, I'm going to dust away any fallout and set my foundation into place. For liner, I'm just taking some black NYX eyeliner and baking a thin line above my lashes with a little bit of a wing at the end. Now it's time to prep for mascara. I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl and then taking my Maybelline Illegal Links mascara apply some generous coats for some long lengthy lashes. And now it's time to finish the face. Taking my Tarte bronzer I'm going to apply this in the hollows of my cheeks for a nice sculpted look. Then taking my Milani blush in Luminoso I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks for a nice rosy flush. Now with some highlight, I'm going to apply this color above my cheekbones and a little bit onto the temples of my face. Also a little bit on the bridge of the nose for some added glow. And now all that's left is lips. Taking my favorite Revlon color in Black Cherry, we're going to generously apply this to our lips. And now I'm a no fuss kind of gal, so I'm not using liner, but I will show you a way to keep your lip color lasting all day. Now this is your finished fall vampy look complete with lustrous lips. Now if you ladies aren't into the shiny gloss lips there is a way to make this matte. I'm just taking a piece of tissue and splitting the plies apart and then taking your favorite powder. We're going to apply the tissue to our lips and begin generously powdering from the outside. Then once you remove the paper you are left with some nice matte lips with color that will last a lot longer. So there you have it your finished fall vampy look with complete matching lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're enjoying your fall. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.